This is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Syrac, chapter 24, verse 8. So the creator of all things gave me a commandment, and he that made me caused my tabernacle to rest and said, Let thy dwelling be in Jacob, and thy inheritance is in Israel. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ. Bahasham is in the name. Rakah HaKodash is the Holy Spirit. And also Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children. That may be listening in all truth and sincerely shalom. This is your brother Kodash coming back at you here with another video to the spirit of power of Yahweh And the title of this video, Lord willing, is that the Lord is dealing with the nation of Israel. You know, or something in that sense. Okay? Alright? Because let me just read this here. It's uh, Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 24 verse 8. Says so the creator of all things gave me a commandment, and he that made me caused my tabernacle to rest, and said, Let thy dwelling be in Jacob, and thy inheritance in Israel. Verse nine, he created me from the beginning before the world, and I shall never fail. This is you know, speaking of Yahweh Shai, man. All right, you know, his dwelling is in Israel, man. Okay, because the Lord, you know, what what does Yahweh Shai mean? Yahweh Shai stands for he says he 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 says he delivers. Okay? It says, Likewise in the beloved city he gave me rest, and in Jerusalem was my power. You know, so the Lord is said uh, he created me from the beginning of the world. Uh it says from the beginning before the world, and I shall never fall, never fail. Alright, you know, and uh let me actually start up. Let me start at the top verse. It says, Wisdom shall praise herself. And shall glory in the midst of, of of her people, in the congregation of the Most High shall she open her mouth, and triumph before His power. I came out of the mouth of the of the Most High, and covered the earth as a cloud. I dwell in high places, and my throne is in a cloudy pillar. I alone compassed the circuit of the heaven, of heaven, and walked in the bottom of the deep, in the midst of the sea, and in all the earth. And in every people and nation, I got a possession. With all these, I saw rest. And whose inheritance shall I abide? You know, just speaking of, you know, Yahweh Shah, because when you go to Syrac 1, I believe, verse. This is uh, Syrac or Ecclesiasticus chapter 1 verse 4. It says, Wisdom have been created before all things. And what was the first thing created, man? All right, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, Yahweh Shai represents wisdom, man. Okay. So it says, Wisdom have been created before all things and understanding of prudence from everlasting. Okay, so wisdom, uh, you know, a lot of times represents Yahweh Shai. It says the word of the Most High, the word of the Most High, uh, the word of God Most High is the fountain of wisdom and her ways are everlasting commandments. All right, you know, so going back to uh, Sirach 24, you know, thy dwelling in Israel, man. Okay, and what, what also, you know, represents wisdom, these law, statutes and commandments, man. All right, the law, statutes, commandments was given unto who? The nation of Israel, man. Okay, that's that's Hebrew uh, one on one. All right, Psalms one forty nine. So lucky Psalms one forty eight. So 
Psalms 147. Psalms 147 and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh Bashmi Shai. Okay, so the Lord, the Lord is uh is solely dealing with the nation of Israel, man. All right, because the law, such as commandments, was given unto the nation of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Okay, Yahweh Shai, he's our power, man. Yahweh Bashmi Shai, that's our power. Yahweh Shai, he coming to coming to save and deliver uh the nation of Israel, all right, and mainly the elect of the nation of Israel, man. The elect of the nation of Israel will be delivered, you know, not you no know, other nation, man. All right, no other people of any other nation. Okay, because scripture says uh, all nations and tongues. Okay, that's speaking of Israelite foreigners that have been scattered abroad. Okay, because one of the curses uh, is that we will be scattered uh, into all nations, man. All right, for a proverb and a and a uh, and a reproach. This is Amos chapter three verse one. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, "You only have I known of all the families of the earth; therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities." All right, so the Lord said, "Us only has He known, man." All right, so that's why we're in such a, a bad state now, because the Lord is truly dealing with us. All right, you so-called black Spaniards and Native Americans, that's why we're uh, scattered in the hoods, in the ghettos, man. Okay, because the Lord is chastising us. This is Baruch chapter 4. In verse 6, it says, You are sold to the nations. Let me start at the top. But it says, This is the book of the commandment of the Most High and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Okay, so this wisdom is going to last forever, man. Keeping these laws, statutes, commandments, man, this is, that's truly wisdom. That's how you live your life using wisdom, man. All right, because you're using wisdom on, on what foods to eat. You're using wisdom on maintaining a good diet. You're using wisdom, okay, with offending uh, your, your fellow brother or your, fellow, or your fellow sister, man. Okay, because we're not having sex with another man's wife. Okay, you're not uh, flirting with another man's wife. All right, you're not taking another man's wife out to dinner. Okay, you're not doing these disrespectful things that niggas in this world do. You're not defiling yourself. You're not smoking weed. Okay, you're not smoking cigarettes. You're not smoking anything, man. Okay, you're you're keeping your body in a good health. You are prolonging your life. That's why it says. And they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die, because the wages of sin is death. If you're not keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments in every aspect of your life, okay, you are promoting death. All right, verse 2 says, Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Take hold of this truth. Take hold of these laws, statutes, and commandments, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It says, Walk in the presence of the light thereof. This, this, uh, it says, The law is a lamp. Okay, it says that thou mayest be illuminated, all right? Because we're the real Illuminati. We're the real enlightened ones, man. All right, let me just get a quick precept. Yeah, I was at Baruch. <sighs> so, I, Proverbs 6, verse 23 says, For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Okay, so these 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 scriptures, man, this is life, man. Okay. If you're not following after the scriptures, you're not you're walking in darkness. Alright, it says, Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. O Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. Right? And then going back to verse 3 says, Nor the things that are profitable unto, unto thee to a strange nation, man. 
Okay, so uh, we don't we don't we don't mess with these other nations, man. Okay, the Lord is not dealing with them. Okay, you know, so you know we don't we're not supposed to uh, really like sell our soul over to these other nations. Says nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation, man. And a lot of our people they they do that now. Okay, they are they they will sell their soul, you know, so they will risk salvation, okay, by giving their life over to to Esau Edom in this day and time, man. Okay? Risking salvation, giving up salvation for a temporary pleasure. Give not thine honor to another. Okay? It says, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. O Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to the most are made known unto us. All right. They're made known unto unto the unto the nation of Israel, man, not to the nation of Edom. These so-called white people, these so-called Japanese, so-called so-called Chinese, these so-called Africans, these so-called Arabs. They're given unto these so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, man. OK. It says, be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the most high to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. Okay, so we disobeyed the Heavenly Father. That's why the Lord is punishing us, man. Okay, but the Lord is at the same time uh raising up his elect, all right, telling you telling you other nations that your kingdom is going down, man. All right, we're telling you that your kingdom is going down and we're getting ready to take the kingdom, man. All right, they're not going to give it to us. We're going to take the kingdom, man. Uh, Daniel 7 and verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Okay, because once we finish our, pr our prison sentence, we're going to uh, never sin again. That's when that second covenant is going to come into place. Okay, you know. The Lord is going to uh, write the laws in that inward parts. So therefore, we'll never sin again. And we'll rule these other nations with a rod of iron forever. Okay? Esau is going into slavery for a thousand years. Then it's going to be eradicated according to Job, the 18th verse. All right? And we're going to possess this kingdom forever. All right? And we're never going to give up this kingdom again. Okay? Because we're going to be perfect. Only reason why we giving up kingdoms all right these other nations conquering us is due to us disobeying the heavenly father therefore when we don't disobey the heavenly father the lord sups with us the lord gives us spiritual powers okay the lord puts us on high man okay it says i've seen uh servants on horses all right and uh princes walking upon earth all right, so you see servants in power, man. Okay, you see servants, you know, uh, with the with the authority. But soon it's going to be a, a role reversal, man. The Lord is going to give us the power, man. Okay, let's just say that in uh, Revelation. Revelation chapter 2 and verse uh, 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end... To him will I give power over the nations. So the Lord is going to give us power over the nations, starting with the elect, all right, to rule over the other nations. And it says, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the potters of a, of a as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father, man. So the Lord is going to allow us to break these other nations into pieces, man. All right, into shivers, man. All right, you know. And that's righteous, man. That's called indignation. All right, righteous anger. The Lord is going to put that anger into his uh, into the nation of Israel, the elect. Because it's all about the elect. The Lord has care for his elect. This is a. Uh, this is a uh, Ezekiel chapter twenty-five, verse twelve. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because that Edom. Have dealt 
against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and, rege and, and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it and will make it desolate from Teman and they of Eden shall fall by the sword. Okay, so the Lord is going to, uh, the Lord is going to wreck the so-called white nation, man. Okay, that's the only nation that, that doesn't receive any mercy from Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, truly showing that the Lord hates them, man. Okay. Jacob have I loved Esau, the so-called white man, Edom, have I hated, man. Romans 9 and 3, Malachi 1 and 4. All right. It says, and I will lay my, my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, starting with the elect. I will lay vengeance, man, that revenge upon Edom, the so-called white nation, by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Yahweh. These people are going to see the power of the Lord once once these spiritual powers kick in, man. They they see the power now because we have spiritual powers by understanding these scriptures. That's a form of spiritual power, but the but the physical spiritual power, man. Okay, these these other nations they're going to know that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is in the midst, man. Okay, they're going to know that the Lord is dealing with, with us, man. All right, then they're going to be ashamed. Then they're going to worship at our feet. All right, bow down to us, man. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, the Lord is going to show that he's dealing with the nation of Israel and us only, man. All right, just like I said in Baruch, happy shall we be, man. All right, it's a blessing to be of the nation of Israel, man, to be an Israelite, man, to be a Hebrew Israelite. And we're coming back into our heritage because the Lord stripped us from our heritage. That's why we're calling ourselves black. We're calling ourselves uh, African-American. All right. We're calling ourselves Hispanics. We're calling ourselves Seminole, uh, Seminole and, and Native Americans, man. Seminole Indians and Native Americans, man. We're calling us these by words. Because we discontinued, all right? But the Lord is raising up his elect, okay? He sent his, uh, the prophet uh, Elijah, which is Abba Bibbins in the reincarnation, if you can receive it, all right, to return. Let me just pull the scripture. Malachi 4 and verse 5, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And that happened. Okay, Abba Bibbins, Abba, uh, Elder Abba Bibbins coming back, you know, returning us and says, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. And that's and that's what's happening. All right. You know, through the prophet Elijah. All right. You know, we've come we've come back to our realization, man. Okay. All right. And then it led on down man, to our apostles and our elders, man. All right, we have the hundred percent truth. Okay. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm gonna close with that. Give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kwedash, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Take next lesson and say shalom and a Baba Shalom.